What's going on guys? Welcome back to another daily YouTube video where we cover the market, our trades and all the content by EA. Today is Monday and that normally means women's UCL uh, and some tradable packs and maybe a player SVC and some upgrade pack. Let's get into the content and see what we got today. Actually before that, as you guys should know, I'm a Twitch streamer. I stream twice daily, 3pm slash 4pm to 7pm and 11 to 1pm every single day. Of course, follow my Twitter too for the earliest leaks and join our free trading trade Discord where you can enter weekly Discord giveaway every single week for three days free Patreon. Now, in terms of the actual content we got today, we did get the UCL marquee matchups and we actually got two sets for the male and female. We got right here, you wait for marquee matchups, two, uh, three tradable packs here for the men's competition. And then we also got it for the women's competition too. I may have gone past it. Looks like I've probably gone past it. Uh, there will be a woman's one here as well, somewhere right here, sorry. Also, the six tradable packs came onto the market today and it was obviously very cheap. Uh, we did get an upgrade pack in terms of the 83 times 10, of course, refreshing. So team week stayed nice and high. 78 plus player pick is very, very cheap to do. 2.5k only. And you only need five players and only one rare. Very, very good value there in all honesty. If you're trying to get some fodder. And an 85 plus double, which that's say you can do five times a day. Three times a day, every single day, it looks like. 82 and 83 squad. Let's take a look and see if any of the fodder moves with that. I wouldn't expect it. Maybe some 84s up a little bit. They were 2k. They're up a tiny, tiny bit. Nothing else has really moved. 85 just coming down. Honestly, a lot of stuff in the mud. Now, in terms of the market, the market is not in its base, best shape. And that is because, in my opinion, there's more supply than demand. And not to mention, we had the entire Team of the Group stage promo leaked for this Friday. Here are all the cards. If you want to take a look at the video, uh, take a look and pause the video. You can see all these got released very early on Monday morning. And yeah, it basically ruined the rise and then continuous with supply at 6 p.m. Everything has just continued to fall. Cards like Larson are down 10k a card. It's not, it's not, this is not something you're used to seeing on a Monday where cards die this much, especially cards that are in packs and new cards. Normally they perform well on Monday, but this week they have died. So if unfortunately, if you took the trades, you lost a lot of coins. Me personally, I have a ton of these at 38 to 40k, still working on selling them. And like, I mean, it's just looking bleak right now at 30k, just praying for some sort of rebound. Did pick up some other of this Larson who did have his price range update, was getting him at 18.5k. Maybe I can recoup my losses on the other Larson by buying the cheaper one. Obviously his price range got updated, he went too cheap and now it's starting to come back up a little bit. Varon performed very well in the pro tournament today. So Varon's cards are both up nicely after having big dips too. This guy was also stuck at min price. But since the competition, obviously he's gone up to 22k. 1922k there, nice little rise. Looks like he's 23 in game. This Varun got really low at content. Obviously, you can see where the leaks came. And bang, 67k, all the way to a peak of 87k we saw. But overall, if you look at anywhere on the market in general, unless you're holding team of the weeks, you probably got cooked and got cooked pretty badly, unfortunately. Rodman is even down a card people really liked for an overnight flip. 14 weeks seem to be 37.5k in game. And a lot of them had their price range changed to 42.5k. If you are trying to trade Team of the Week, I would advise you buy the ones with a higher price range, like Summer, with 50k price range and stuff like that. Because a lot of them are probably going to go extinct at 42.5k in the next day or two when we get some real sort of demand for Team of the Weeks, if we get some more demand. The Dynasties players too, also got absolutely destroyed. Some of these cards had decent rises and then just got absolutely crushed. But across the board, you can just see these cards are down and they're down bad. Thuram did get his price range update. He's double in price from his actual price from 190. And Nico Williams is holding, but other than that, Timbers 170k. Basically, today was a day to not hold any cards on the market except for Team of the Week. That's where the easy coins were, and that was a mistake I made. I sold my Team of the Weeks at 34, 750, got a little bit greedy. I thought I could make more coins by doing other things that people weren't doing. In hindsight, I should have just held on to those. Probably could have made another 5k per card at least, which is going to be another 250k, but instead, I'm at least 250k down, maybe even 350k. So I basically thrown away my team week profit, but it is what it is. And you got to stick by your decisions and you got to move on and you got to take the wins and take the losses. So we will do that. But again, even these cards are down. The market is just in a very, very bleak position right now. And I would avoid holding any of these cards if you can. This promo seems very, very dead. Uh, these UEFA heroes are yet to come into packs. It is 10 p.m. UK time. So we don't know what's going on with these. I'd assume these come in packs on Friday if they haven't been in packs yet by the time you see this video. And the FC Pro cards. Well, we had Delhi Ali play today. He was down at a lower 50k. It looks like he's backed up, up to 68, 69k here. Uh, his pro's got a new position for this card and also plus one. This card's probably going to continue to rise. Went down to 64 before content with the leaks. 
went up to 84, came down again. I saw him at 50k, and it's up to almost 70k now, and probably continues to rise. But who really knows, because those cards worked out so well last week. Ogbonna, not too sure. Koulibaly, not too sure. I believe his pro got 9 points, is getting upgrade. Simikin, I believe, is getting all 3 upgrades. But obviously, heavily, heavily over-invested. So it does look like Deli Ali was the play here today at 50k. In terms of the FC Pro cards to make coins, he is up to 69k. I did see him a few times at 62, 63k, and I didn't buy any myself because I thought he was really over-invested in. But yeah, 50k clearly was the low point if he was even really there for that long. Football instead is 50k, so you never truly do know. I'll show you my transfer list and show you the state and the disaster we have on our hands. And it is obviously all these last ones which I bought for some of these I bought at 30k, but there's a lot of like 40k still. We are down pretty bad today. And we should have stuck with, I should have stuck with the team of the weeks. But again, we take our wins, we take our losses. There'll be other trades and we can make those coins back in the future. But yeah, as I said, if you do want to invest in the team of the weeks, I do think you can invest in these at around. Honestly, if you can get like 38k for any of the ones of the price range over 42k, I think you're looking good there. But that's going to be pretty tough. But I'm sure with some sort of bids, you can maybe get 38k bids. I don't know, on maybe Del Castillo, Stommer. Hummels, maybe it's Bernardo even, looks like he might be available at 38k if you are trying to make the team league play because obviously he has a 50k price range. It looks like 38k probably will be possible there on snipes and bids. So yeah, if you want to do that, go ahead. If you think the team league train continues to go, which it normally does, once it starts, it doesn't really stop. Uh, another card we did look at for a flip yesterday was Theo Hernandez. He's not in packs, so it'll be interesting to see how he's done. He was down at 23, 23.5k. He is still 25k, so only at 1.5k. He has held, but obviously he's not in packs, so there is no supply on that card. EA did leak their content that is coming this week, and it doesn't look the best. But there is something important to note. Um, you can see here, Ultimate Dynasties SBCs are coming. New Evolutions, multiple are coming. An Icon SBC is coming. A Women's UCL Showdown SBC coming too, which we believe to be Paris versus... Not too sure. And then Upgrade and Challenge SBCs throughout the week. So not a very good week of content in terms of how much stuff they're bringing. Who really knows what's going on from here? But all I can tell you is stuff is just dying on this Monday, which is not always common. And yeah, this could have all been avoided by not being greedy and trying to make too many trades and trying to be too smart and just holding on to the team of the week. So hopefully you held on to your team of the weeks and I would continue to hold if you are holding. If you want to try buy the dip, maybe try, but I don't know how many dips there'll be. But yeah, again, kicking myself a little bit there, threw away my 300, 400k profit in one day. But again, we live and we learn and we can't um dwell on our mistakes because i mean we make a lot of mistakes as traders but yeah you can see the cards which are likely to get upgrades which are trending on footbin kula bali not too sure how well he does probably will end up doing really well with the plus one because obviously it's a great center back but Deli ali being a prem card obviously was obviously like 90k before all this mess anyway up to 69 it wouldn't surprise me if by the time you see his video he's already up to like 80k doesn't look like this guy's gonna stop we can take a look in game and see his price you that you can see some of my cards slowly selling I'm not going to give up on my loss and right now I'm kind of going to have to kind of be stubborn on it and try and lazy sell some 37 and try buy some more and try and recoup some losses there. But um, see, there's a lot of Delhi Alice here for 70k. But it wouldn't surprise me if these will start to disappear at one point once the investors all go in. He's already up 20k from his bottom so that has been an opportunity missed there. But yeah, the safest way is to play it liquid and play it safe. As we are getting Evos, if an Evo is coming for a position like, I don't know, Strikers are down really big today. So maybe a Striker Evo is coming, you know? Seems like Strikers are more down than any other cards. Maybe people know stuff like that. I'm not too sure though. But yeah. Liquid is for sure the play if you're unsure what to do. If you're a D-Gen like me, which I am of course a D-Gen. Till the day I die. I will try my hardest to recoup my losses on this last one and I won't give up. Whether I'm trading the cheaper last one or this last one. I'll be trading one of those lasses non-stop. What are the prices of 87s actually? That other eight, that other lasses might get close to 87 rated fodder. 87s are they're 17k. So in theory, this lasson can only drop. So maybe it's actually smarter to go all in on this lasson if he does laser sell because he can actually only drop 2k, even in the worst case scenario, right? You can't have a situation like today where we just drop 10k. So maybe it is best to go all on him. I'm probably going to start buying back the 87 lasson as opposed to the 88. Just because it's safe right now and safe money is good money. So uh, we'll take a look. That's probably gone to like 32 or something. 32.5 honestly. Bloodbath as I said. But I probably will be starting to buy back this 87 one. I'll see what I can do on that guys. Alright. And I'll feed back to you guys and see how that goes tomorrow. Other than that guys make sure you follow Twitter for early leaks. And the Twitch for our live streams. 
and join the free trading discord to be entered into the weekly discord giveaway other than that guys thank you for watching hopefully you can make some more coins tomorrow and we'll be back on top which we will be for sure and i'll see you all tomorrow peace